The Smart Board Revolution Google Plus community presents a Smart Survival Guide. I'm your host, Matt Granger. This episode is part of the Adding Interactivity to Lessons and or Simplifying Lesson Creation with the Widget series. And this episode will focus on the Clock Widget. To find your widgets, you go to the gallery and you have to install them, download them. Make sure you see the video on doing that if you don't know how. Then you'll go into the My Content and here is the Clock Widget. You can either double click or drag it onto the page. This one has some good information that shows how to use it. Basically you can use it in a couple of ways. You can drag the hands of the clock to set the time and then write the time and it will compare and see if it's correct or you can write the time here on the digital clock and then drag the hands to show the time and it will also check it. So there's pretty good information here. The settings, the gear, you've only got one choice, either a 12 or 24 hour clock. If you want to then get the widget off the page, you can use the X to delete it. And this one, I assume it would put a graphic of the clock and the digital clock out on the page, but I never have seen it work. So let's take a look. We'll start by dragging the clock hands so we can set it however we want. Now a student can come up to the board, pick up a pen. They can write the time here. Now one thing I don't like about this widget is that the text that you write stays on top once it changes the text behind it. And notice I had a tough time getting the 20. Even though I put the two first, it changed it to zero two. Now that may work better if you're actually on a board. I'm not, so that could be part of the issue. Another way that they could do it is you could write the time actually on the board somewhere and then drag it to this box. 1020 is correct, so it compares what you put to the hands. And again, the ink stays in front of it just have to kind of select it and delete it. You can reset it. You can have typed text that you drag into the box. Again, it doesn't go away. It recognizes it and then it stays. So you have to either drag it out or delete it. And now the students come up and have to move the hands to the correct spot. If they put the wrong time, sometime I've seen it turn red here it's not doing anything so it's not correct so until they get the correct time they don't get the visual feedback and it doesn't have to be to the five minutes you can use this telling time right to the minute so that's the clock widget it can be very helpful and effective when you are teaching telling time